Hello there, I'm Dr. Sarah. Each November, World Antibiotic Awareness Week aims to increase global awareness of antibiotic resistance. The persistence, overuse, and misuse of antibiotics in humans and animals have caused bacteria to become resistant to drugs used to treat them. Antibiotics versus bacteria. Bacteria structure. The cell wall is a crucial part in the bacterium structure. It protects the bacterium and gives it strength and structure. It prevents it from cell lysis because of the high cytoplasmic osmotic pressure. The major part of a gram-positive organism's cell wall is peptidoglycan, which exists in several coats. In gram-negative bacteria, an external membrane composed mainly of lipopolysaccharides overlays a thin coating of peptidoglycan, which gives the bacteria more protection from antibiotics. Antibiotics Mechanism of Action Since antibiotics are used to treat bacterial infections, scientists have tried to understand their mechanism of action to have a better understanding of them. When scientists understand how antibiotics attack bacteria, they can know the reasons behind antimicrobial resistance, create different new kinds of antibiotics, and prevent damaging human cells. It can be done by the inhibition of cell wall synthesis, or by the inhibition of DNA synthesis. When the DNA is damaged, the cell cannot reproduce or be maintained, thus the cell dies. It can also happen by the inhibition of protein synthesis. Hi guys, I'm Mr. Salmonella. Just call me Mr. Sal. Anyways, if you're not familiar with my work, well, let me give you a brief summary. I'm not going to brag on my accomplishments, but like the Centers for Disease Control has estimated that I cause about 1.2 million illnesses, 23,000 hospitalizations, and 450 deaths in the United States every year. Well, when I infect you, you will probably develop diarrhea, fever, abdominal cramps. It will usually last for 4 to 7 days. As much as I would like to brag about myself, I will be giving you now a trip down to memory. My pal, Professor Stereococcus pyogenes, caused half of all post-birth deaths. Woman fever. As you can see that, we have the upper hand on humanity. However, oh my god, the golden age is a... Hamtry mi microbials are discovered. The first being penicillin, which caused a breakthrough in the medical field. Bad times, my friend. Oh my god, bad times. Well, my friend, that didn't last very long. After two years of discovery, we were able to step up and fight again. And we have become resistant to penicillin and many others. Oh, my friend, in the United States and Europe, 50,000 people die each year of infections, which no medicine can help. In addition, the British government established a project known as Review on Antimicrobial Resistance, which foretells that if people cannot keep under control by 2050, the worldwide toll will be 10 million deaths a year. Resistance are inescapable biological processes. What? Think yourself. Pat yourself on the back. Humans bear the responsibility for speeding it up. In many parts of the world, 50% of antimicrobials that are given in healing centers are pointless. The huge spread of antibiotics resistance was predictable, my friends. We become resistant by mutation and evolution, and by acquiring genes from resistant organisms through the process called conjugation. Well, guys, thank you for listening. Brought to you by Mr. Sal. But wait, there's a conclusion. Don't leave. Come on, guys, next slide. Overuse and misuse of antibiotics allows the development of antibiotic resistance bacteria, which leads to dangerous infections. Here's what you can do to help prevent antibiotic resistance. Ask your healthcare professional if there are steps you can take to feel better without using antibiotics. Don't demand antibiotics if your doctor says they are unnecessary. Take all antibiotics as prescribed and always complete the full course of medication. Never take an antibiotic for a viral infection like a flu or a cold. Never take antibiotics prescribed for someone else.